What goes on, people? Welcome back to the Den Night. Today we're going to be reviewing something a little different than I usually do. This is um, a collector's edition of the Samurai Jack Battle Through Time game that came out for PS4, Switch, and possibly Xbox. I don't really remember. Um, this wasn't a traditional physical release game. This was a digital only, from my understanding, but a company called Limited Run Games actually made this themselves. <clears throat> um, if you're not familiar with them, basically they're a company that takes titles like that, digital only, and they'll make their own collector's edition. I don't know what's involved in the licensing rights for that kind of thing, but if you go to their website, Limited Run Games, they have all kinds of stuff like that. Just comes with all sorts of extras and the physical copy of the game, obviously. And they're limited run, obviously, by the name of the company. Um, my wife actually got me this. She knew I really wanted to get it. And she was on the website right when I was, when the pre-orders went up. I was there. They were sold out immediately, but she managed to get one. I don't know how, but wife magic. And actually, since this came out, a local game store where I'm from, from called Just Press Play, they actually have a deal with limited run games now, and they get, I don't know if it's a deal with them or they just buy a bunch of them, but that they have them in store a lot of times too, depending on the popularity of the game. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Nice artwork on the box. The Aku statue. I believe that's from Season 5. I don't recall seeing that before Season 5. I think that was from the scene with the Daughters of Aku. On this side we have the temple. I'm going to be a little uninformative here because I it's been a while since I watched the whole season or series. I rewatched it all when season five came out. Jungle scene. I of course have a few episodes like everyone does, but I really need to rewatch this the series again and this should, should probably be my motivation since I'm not very informative now. And on top we got Jack being thrown through Aku's time portal. That's a nice touch. I like that on top. Now, this is cheating a little bit because I actually have opened this already to inspect everything. And I've also played through the game already. But I put it back in here for authenticity's sake, I guess I'll say. We can play pretend. So, got the PS4 version from Adult Swim Games. I don't know if Limited Run... Yep, yeah, it does say it on there. So, if I understand that correct, that is... The, this is the 356th game they've done this with. If I'm right, I'm just assuming. I know they've done a lot of these. But nothing special, other than it's a physical release of a digital-only game. And next up, got a trading card here of Jack with Aku in the background. And this says 127. Didn't the game say... So I guess, unless that just means this is the 127th one they've made that included a card. I don't know. That's research for another day. Original soundtrack, which I haven't opened. I'd rather keep it like this, honestly. I'm not much of a music listener, to be honest, but I'm assuming this is just all the... Um, 
music from in the game. Which, looking at the titles, kind of sounds like the levels a little bit. Not to be spoilery, but, I mean, you basically play through the seasons of... No, I can't even say that. It's kind of like fan service the game, I guess I would say. It doesn't follow the story, but you revisit a lot of places, meet a lot of familiar people. The Scotsman, of course, is in it. Others like that. Oh, poster. Got some art cards. That sort of reminds me of the city where Jack met, uh, is it Scaramouche from season five? Nighttime scene. Again, this would have been a lot better of a review if I would have just watched the series right before doing this. Have a little more fresh, but... Maybe I like this better as an inspiration to watch again. <clears throat> a tree. This scene looks familiar. Really wish I remember what that was from. I need to seek out a Samurai Jack channel and start watching it get me some learned let's cut quick so i can get this poster open all right sorry for the extra cut i just didn't think you wanted to listen to me try and uncurl a poster and make crinkle noises with one hand for the next two minutes two to five minutes but it's actually a two-sided poster and it's the same as the trading card, as you can see. And the other side is... a very nice battle scene, and it's actually going to be a bit of a prelude to what comes next in this. I actually like that poster a lot. If I had room for posters, I would consider putting this one up, but also it's creased, so I can't see how it would look very good anyway. It's the only thing I don't like about getting posters with things. They're all folded up, they just never look right. Get that out of here. And we'll bring the main event. So, the rest of it is... Actually, a statue of Jack with the time portal. We'll get a better look at that when it comes out. And Jack's sword with a stand. And I think it's just, it's, it's no. I thought it was a letter opener. I guess I should know since I'm the one that wanted it. No, it's not a letter opener. It's not sharp at all. Just a display. Not any less cool, but... And sorry quick about the coughing. I'm recording a bunch of these back-to-back, -back, and it's getting to my voice, so this is going to be the last one for this session. But let's do the sword first. Get Jack out of the way for now. Actually... The stand is not very, not the highest qual, oh, actually it's coming apart. That would be why. Let's cut quick so I don't break it. All right, so this is going to be a ding against it because it actually still doesn't sit flush. It's leaning. I don't know if that's, you can see that on the camera. But the stand is actually like a very dense cardboard painted black. And the, the pieces are just pushed together. I thought it was at least like a good plastic. But maybe it's not cardboard. Maybe it's like a particle board. But either way, it's very chintzy feeling. I mean, it was a good attempt. I like that they put Samurai Jack on there. But the stand itself is pretty chintzy, especially considering this is... This is not a bad sword 
miniature sword replica at all. It's got good heft to it, good weight, good paint detail. Definitely at least the blade is metal. I don't know if any of the, the handle doesn't feel metal, but the sword's very quality is the point. And the stand is not. So that'll be a ding, ding on this, a negative part of this, but I'll try and play with it a little bit, make it look better. But other than that, get that out of here and move on to the main piece. The main piece, which is two pieces. So we got the time portal. Samurai Jack on the base, obviously. And then if you look close, the portal actually is showing different scenes from the show, too. I think in the show, the time portal was more of a black and white circles kind of thing. Maybe this is more of a teleportation portal kind of thing, kind of like if you saw season five, not to go any more spoilery for a old show, but... Maybe it's not a time portal. Maybe it's a teleportation portal. Either way, it doesn't matter. But it's a cone, so it is a three-dimensional kind of portal jump in. Which is nice, instead of just a flat panel with a sticker. Trying to imitate 3D, so it's actually three-dimensional. Let's get Jack. Now the thing, he has a peg on his sandal. I don't know if he can go both ways. No, he can't can't be like he's going in, so he's definitely coming out. So yeah. I thought you could orient him orient him either way, but you can't. So it's only a coming out kind of thing which actually for my plan for the display will work. That will work better anyway. That's what I was going to do. I'll show you my plan when it's in the showcase. But I actually have a different thing to go along with this that I bought separately on eBay, just as like a cheap kind of addition. I might even just show it here first, but in addition to just to bring the whole thing together. But, not bad on the detail. I mean, I don't know how much you can really detail a cartoon character as opposed to like a realistic looking video game or comic book character kind of thing. Cartoons are always different, but it is kind of weird that on the sword hilt, it's more square as opposed to the miniature one I showed you that looks a lot more sword hilt like honestly if you could put that sword with this jack I think this would be perfect because I think the sword is the weak part of this statue really it just looks kind of chintzy which is funny because you got the chintzy stand with this great sword and then a great statue with the chintzy sword. I don't know. To each his own. Just my two cents. But. Nice looking angry Jack face. Which you don't get to see a lot in the show. He's very calm most of the time. Rational. So I'll bring out the other piece. Alright, so basically this is just a cheap eBay find that I got to go along with this. Nothing special. Just a wind-up thing of Aku. It's very faded. I don't know if it shows up well, but the black is very, very faded. 
the red is very faded as well. It just just a compliment piece, nothing special. That'll just make a nice battle scene in the showcase. So let's get them in there. So there we have them in between Cloud and the brothers. Now I ended up just rotating Naku a little bit so the wind up thing was kind of out of sight, which worked out nicely. His, his um, arms are flexible at the shoulders, so I can kind of play with that a little bit. But overall, made a nice little scene. The sword on the stand right in the front. It's like a little shrine, I guess you'd say, the Samurai Jack. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Just a little cheap find on eBay that just made it all come together. So anyway, that'll end this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. You know what to do. And I'll see you next time. Keep collecting.